to my youtube channel please if you have not subscribed please subscribe 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 as you do so may god bless you in jesus name isha allah amen and for those of you that have subscribed i pray may god grant you your heart's desire this year this year this year in the mighty name of jesus amen so my people i'm not that story don't bust out this is what is just coming right now from the elders of you edoshi <laughs> and i'm not saying that those people lie now i did trace so right now the elders have decided that can't believe chuku must be buried if he's not even buried yet hey, hey they said that can't believe chuku must be buried immediately with immediate effect that boy should be buried immediately <laughs> Now, you guys know that Peter, uh, Yule Doshe and May Doshe have taken the case to the police station. And be that Kam Bilichuku died in the body school, in the school, according to what they said. Right now, um, they are doing all this kind of investigation and everything to get to the deep down. Why did he slum? Why did he die? And all those, a lot of things is going on in the police station. The police are still investigating. But the family of Yul Edoshe have decided that maybe they've come to the conclusion. I can't guarantee you that. Like I said, this meeting they did and what they discussed in the family meeting still remain within them. We've not got any information about what they discussed. So right now, what they are saying that Kambili Chuku must be buried with immediate effect. To me, I feel like this family, they have come to the conclusion, they have seen, they have gone to the root of the matter, they've seen everything that happened and they decided to keep it to themselves because you guys know that social media is hot right now. Like according to what they say, they say in this family meeting, Beth Edoshe was there, Josephine Edoshe was there, Lynch Edoshe was there, Leo Edoshe was there and their eldest brother was also there for this meeting. So right now, they said after the meeting, the elders decided that they should bury Kambili Chuku with immediate effect. And you guys know that the police are already in this case. The police, they said they want to do autopsy. They want to see the reason why he died. They want to know why he died. And they have to, they can't bury him without the police doing what they have to do. So like the family and the police now, they don't become two different things. Because what is really happening right now is that the family meeting, Yule Doshe was not present because they don't want him to be present. I don't know the reason why Yule Doshe cannot be present. According to them, they said because he's mourning his son. To me, I feel it's another way. Is I don't know how to put it. Maybe because, as I continue to say, because of the abomination and the unclean things that is following Yule Doshe. <laughs> Edas, they are not his father, they are not his mother. Edas, they know the place that you're wrong. They know how to come close to people that are unclean. So, I don't know if it is because of that that Yule Edoshe was not present or because he is still mourning his son. According to what they said, they said he should not consist his mourning his son. So, everything that happened in that meeting, Yule Edoshe not even get, he not even know one thing when they talk for them. He don't, he don't know what they discuss. He don't even know what really happened in that meeting. But all he know that they did a meeting, they held a meeting about this whole um, death of Kambili Shuku. So after they finished the meeting, they said Kambili Shuku should be buried with an immediate affair. Why do Ledoshe and May Edoshe have taken it to the police? And they can't just bury the child without the police doing the rightful things they have to do because the police have to do the autopsy, they have to, the boy have to be there, they have to tear his body, start, God knows what they do, how they do this, the autopsy, I don't just know. But the family have gotten to the root of the matter, I feel so, because they cannot say let them bury immediately. So, like what I know, <laughs> what I know, according to some tradition, according to some culture, I don't know if it is like that in the Yule Doshe family or in some part of Igbo. I don't know if it happens like that. You can correct me in the comment section. Because when, uh, when somebody is dead and they ask, and that person is being buried immediately, it is because that person died on natural death. Mm. They said, according to what... I know to the traditions to some parts of Nigeria when a young spirit, especially when the spirit is young, like that of Kambili Chuku, when they die and they are not buried immediately and they did not die their natural death, their spirit will be hovering around, disturbing people. 
disturbing people, like to the extent of hurting people. I'm telling you guys the fact. So that is the reason why when they see that, when they get to the root of the matter and they find that, find out that this person did not die natural death, they have to bury that person immediately. Even if money not there for burial, they'll say, Mona, rush and put them for grand first. Then when money they will do the burial because that person's soul and his spirit if they hover around they go they disturb a lot of people. So we don't know if that is the case of Kambeli Chuko because the family are not as uh, they they did not uh, come aside to tell us what they discuss and I don't I can't tell you that I have information of what they discuss inside their family see, inside their family meeting I don't get any idea of what they discuss. So the only thing I know is that what they say that you Edoche, um, they should bury Kambili Chuku as quick as possible. They should bring him to the village and be buried. He must be buried in the village. That's what they said. They said he must be buried in the land of his father. He must be buried in the village. That is what they said. Like this family, they really went deep into this matter. They really went deep into this matter like they went to check what really happened because this is the first time such a thing is happening to them so i they they did not just take it lightly like the way people think a lot of people think that this family they are catholic that they won't go deep into this matter before they decide to bury kambili chuku that means they have seen the end of this matter they don't come to conclusion because what we heard this afternoon is that they said 80 percent of what is happening to you like Doshi, is what it cost with his hand by sleeping with a married woman he committed abomination that is an abomination those days if you do such a thing they will drive you they will, you will become outcast they don't even buy you join yourself so like these days it is not like that but the gods they still hurt them they still come for them in a different way hmm. so that was the other said this afternoon but right now we are hearing that they said Kambeli Chuku must be buried immediately must be buried immediately that was the elders of Yule Edoshi are saying right now and that means that Kambeli Chuku spirit is hovering around you guys remember that a lady come aside today to tell us that um uh, he dreamt about Kambeli Chuku telling her some kind of things my people so that is one of the things that happened when a young soul died and is not buried immediately. Their spirits go over and they, go, they move around. They disturb people to the extent, even hurting people. It go they hunt people. <laughs> so my people, this is a very critical case. That's why I say everybody should be very careful of um, this uh, case of Hule Doshi because it is a very delicate case. This boy is 16 years old. 16 years old he is that kind of age now age maybe say their spirits they hurt they just want to start enjoying their life they just want to grow into life they just want to start seeing life and you can't cut them for their mouths their spirits are never happy their spirits know they rest until you bury them and that's why the elders are saying they should bring him to the village because they have a lot of things to do before they bury him hey my people now wahala for who carry his hand Go they find another man problem for us. Eh? What did this small boy come do? What did this small boy come do? You see, I say, even the people where he keep us in, then they say they don't even still get rest of mind. Because this boy is pretty, he go see they hurt them. <laughs> he go see they hurt them. So, my people, that is what is happening right now. But like, I don't know if the barrier is going to, when they are going to do the barrier, I can't tell you that, or when they have, well, whether they don't even do the burial, I don't know. But what I know is that the family of Yule Doshe has given go ahead quick, quick, quick for Kambeli Shuku to be buried immediately before things get worse. I don't know what that means. Because to me, that's why I told you that maybe this boy spirit can be um, a hungry spirit. Mm, because they cut life for a mat. It can be an hungry spirit. Angry spirits are not good until you bury them. They know the rest. So, fans, you can leave your comments in the comment section and let us know what you think about this whole thing. Like the family, they are really in haste to bury Kambili Chuku. Why you, Ledoshi and Me Ledoshi, insist on the police for them to do their autopsy, for the police to do their research on Kambili Chuku to see the reason why he died what kind of sickness or what if he's poison on anything that killed him so my fans you can leave your comment in the comment section i will see you guys in my next video if you've not subscribed please subscribe as you do so may god bless you in jesus name inshallah amen